Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have got one very interesting question from Radical Mathematics. We have to evaluate the expression x plus 1 over x. Given x is 6th root of 9 minus 20 over x square root 5. So let's get started by considering the unknown expression I will call E. And I will write our x as 6th root of 9 minus 20 divided by square root 5. Now I will rationalize 20 over square root 5. So I need to multiply here with square root 5. Denominator also square root 5. So I can write x is equal to 6 root of 9 minus 20 square root 5 divided by root 5 times root 5. This is 5. Now 20 over 5, it is 4. So we can write x is equal to 6 root of 9 minus 4 square root 5. Now I will take help of algebraic manipulation. I can write x is equal to 6th root of 9 I will write 5 plus 4. Then it is minus 4 square root 5. Let's write here x is equal to 6th root of 5 plus 4 minus 4 root 5. Now can we write 5 as a square root 5 whole square, 4 as 2 whole square, minus 4 root 5 we can write 2 times root 5 times 2. Yes, we can write. Then this will frame one algebraic formula, a square plus b square minus 2ab which we know a minus b whole square it is. So x can be written as 6th root of root 5 minus 2 whole square. Now I will write one algebraic identity a power b whole power c or an exponential property basically we can write a power b times c. So I can write our RHS as root 5 minus 2 whole a square and then whole power is 1 over 6. Using this exponential property, I can write this is a square root 5 minus 2 whole power will be 2 times 1 by 6. Now we can cancel 2 and 6 by writing 3. So it will give us x is equal to the square root 5 minus 2 whole power is 1 by 3 or we can write this is cube root of the square root 5 minus 2. This is our simplification so far. So I will be writing here x is equal to cube root of the square root 5 minus 2. Again I will take one algebraic manipulation step. It would be cube root of, I will write here root 5 minus 2 as it is. Now I will multiply our numerator and denominator by 8. So I need to write 8 here. Now I will expand. I will write x is equal to cube root of 8 root 5 minus 8 times 2 is 16 divided by 8. Further I can write cube root of 8 root 5 can we write 5 root 5 plus 3 root 5. This is 8 root 5. 16 is 1 plus 15. So we can write minus 1 minus 15 divided by 
8. Let us rearrange the terms. So I can write cube root of 5 root 5 minus 1. Then I can write plus 3 root 5. Then minus 15. And denominator is 8. Now let me write this step here. I will write cube root of 5 root 5 minus 1 minus 3 square root 5 and then it was let me write here here it is so further I can write x is equal to cube root of can we write 5 root 5 as cube root 5 whole cube now minus sign 1 I can write it is 1 cube a cube minus b cube minus 15 can we write minus 3 times root 5 is square times 1 3 a square b it is 15 and then we can write plus 3 times a b square root 5 times 1 is square so it is replicating one identity a q minus b q minus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square so we can write it as a minus b whole q so let us write cube root of a square root 5 minus 1 whole cube it is denominator 8 we can write it is 2 whole q now we know that a power n over b power n any time we can write a over b whole power n. So I can write it as cube root. Here I can write root 5 minus 1 over 2 whole cube. Now cube root and cube will be over. So our x is coming out root 5 minus 1 over 2. This is the value of x. Now let us calculate our expression. So x is root 5 minus 1 over 2. Now let us call this expression e. e equal to x plus 1 over x. So I will write root 5 minus 1 over 2 plus 2 over root 5 minus 1. Now I will make our denominator same. How it will be? I will write here 2 times root 5 minus 1. So I need to write here root 5 minus 1 whole square. Same task I will apply here. I will multiply denominator with 2 so that our denominator will be common or same. So I need to write here 4. Now denominator is same. I will take common out 2 times root 5 minus 1 and in numerator it is square root 5 minus 1 whole square plus 4. Now I will simplify our numerator. Let's simplify further. Root 5 minus 1 whole square plus 4 and denominator is 2 times square root 5 minus 1. This is our e. Let us apply e minus b whole square. So root 5 is square then plus 1 is square then minus 2 times root 5 times 1 then we have plus 4. Denominator is 2 times root 5 minus 1. Root 5 is square is 5. 1 is square is 1 minus 2 root 5 plus 4. Denominator is 2 times root 5 minus 1. Now 5 plus 1 6. 6 plus 4 10. 10 minus 2 is square root 5 divided by 2 times square root 5 minus 1. 
now i can see numerator is having two common so let us divide by the denominator two i can write 5 minus root 5 divided by root 5 minus 1 now we are one step away from our answer i will take root 5 common from the numerator so i can write e equal to root 5 is common so what will be left in the bracket root 5 minus 1 and denominator is root 5 minus 1 now we can cancel these two so our required answer for the expression it is square root of 5 and this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching friends do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye